morning everybody today's topic is transradial approach for the bypass graft interventions bypass graft angiography and intervention has become a day to day affair practically in every moderate volume or high volume lab you come across this type of cases practically on every other day most of the people have already mastered the technique of cannulating bypass graft through the femoral approach however there are issues related to the cannulation of bypass graft through the radial approach of course there is a myth that the radial approach is a relative contraindication for using for the bypass graft intervention what is the truth the truth is you can do practically every single bypass graft intervention through radial approach however i would like to give certain tips for the beginners first of all if you are a beginner for the radial approach for first 100 cases don't even attempt the bypass graft angiography just try to be comfortable with the native vessel angiogram and straight forward interventions to be done in the native arteries once you have a proper feel of this route then you indulge into the bypass graft angiographies that is cannulating the left internal mammary cannulating the venous graft the radial graft the right internal mammary just for angiogram and for diagnostic purpose and once you are comfortable with that then you can indulge into the bypass graft intervention and i am sure that you will be successful in more than 99% of the cases how to go about it if left radial is available then for the beginner i would strongly recommend to choose the left radial approach why because left internal mammary cannulation becomes easy with the left radial approach that is one second you enter the ascending aorta and then the things become as simple as the femoral approach all the catheters for cannulating bypass grafts which are good through femoral are good through left radial approach it means that for left grafts you can use left bypass graft catheters in most of the cases and for right grafts you can use the right bypass graft catheters for almost every case of course you have in your armamentarium other catheters available for standby catheters i would recommend right amplards usually right amplards one which is an excellent catheter to be used as a multi purpose catheter for right venous as well as left venous grafts or even radial which has been deployed either on obtuse marginal or on the right another catheter which is a very important and a good catheter understand it which should be kept in mind is a left amplards one or sometimes left amplards two catheter particularly when you have to cannulate a bypass graft and do intervention in a patient who has a significantly dilated aortic root so these are the catheters which you are supposed to keep in mind there is a problem with left radial approach because surgeons are quite fond of taking the radial artery as a conduit they usually use the left radial so many times left radial artery is not available to be used to go for any further intervention in that case you should know how to address the bypass grafts using the right radial approach. entering the ascending aorta with any catheter is fine you all know 
for the bypass graft cannulation using the right radial approach I would recommend that you can try in some cases left bypass or right bypass graft catheter which you and you may be successful but most of the time I would tell you that a right m plus guide catheter is fine to cannulate both the grafts deployed on the left system or the right system. Another very important catheter which you should keep in mind is multipurpose -pur 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 catheter particularly to cannulate the saphenous vein or radial graft which has been deployed on the PDA or PLV on the right system. Left implants should be used for uh, it should be kept reserved for a dilated aortic root because then you need a bit of maneuvering left implants catheter when you are maneuvering the ascending aorta be very careful because it's a bit more traumatic catheter and you have to handle it well. The most important point is to cannulate the left internal memory using the right radial approach. How to go about it? You enter either ascending aorta or descending aorta. Preferably descending aorta using a Z35 5000 of an inch regular standard wire. Put a Simon 1 catheter which is being used by the interventional radiologist in the descending aorta and pull it back. You pull it back and most of the time the tip of the Simon 1 catheter will have a tendency to enter the left subclavian. Once the, the tip sits properly in the left subclavian artery, you very carefully negotiate 35,000 of an inch standard wire in the subclavian and preferably go deep down in the brachial. That will make a loop like this. If you find it difficult to go with a regular standard 35,000 of an inch wire, you may choose a teromo wire. Because it is hydrophilic, it will help, it will be easy to slide it deep down in the brachial. Once it sits in properly, you very carefully remove the Simon catheter and on it you can use a left internal memory guide or a diagnostic catheter for the procedure you are doing and you can bring the tip of the catheter just beyond the origin of the left internal memory, you remove the wire and very carefully you pull the catheter back and you will be able to enter the left internal memory and you can finish the procedure very nicely and quickly without wasting time. It just takes two more minutes to enter the left subclavian from the right radial approach. Regarding use of the distal protection devices because most of the distal protection devices are compatible with the six French guide there should not be any problem. In very selected unusual circumstances if you end up using 7 French guide in more than 90% of the cases the radial will accept the 7 French guide and any other device and anything you, you want to use you can use it. The rest of the procedure remains the same the same guide wires, the same balloons and the same stents. In short bypass graft intervention to be done through radial approach should not be a problem once you are comfortable and once you are a regular radialist it becomes a day to day affair for you to uh, you know use the radial route to address the bypass graft and the related relevant lesions thank you very much